So part one of this tutorial is to use Canva to design your cup sleeve. Um, the template is going to look exactly like this one. Uh, you can mess around design with it. This is my old one. Um, I didn't like how it looked, but um, this was what I decided to finalize. Um, basically, you're going to have to push forward and backward through each layer your uh, template that is given to you. Uh, so you'll have to click it. You can turn down the transparency all the way as well to help uh, figure out if everything, all of your elements are all lined up within the template. Um, but like what I'm doing here, uh, you can push it forward and backward just to make sure that everything is well within the lines that you're going to need it to be in. Uh, if it's anywhere outside, then it's not going to cut inside the cup sleeve design. And just be mindful of stuff like the line on the side there where it's going to connect. Um, see this rabbit? It is not going to be cut off in any way. Uh, and make sure all of your text is just at max that distance away from the outline. See my uh, text at the bottom is well inside the template, so nothing should be getting cut off with that. And after you have that, you'll just need to um, bring it either all the way to the back or go ahead and turn that transparency all the way down before you're exporting this image. Uh, I wouldn't recommend ungrouping it uh, just to keep it all together. And then you can also just go ahead and take the whole layer and just delete it and then export it as a PNG. So if Canva isn't your style, you can use Photoshop or Photopea with the other template that I have provided. Um, I'm using Photopea on this one just to show that everything that's free is totally free. Uh, read the instructions that are given in the template. Make sure to export it as a PNG. That's the highest quality. Um, you can toggle the hide switch to see your design if it all fits within the template. You basically just need to put your image here where it says replace this with your image. Uh, if you want to get fancy, you can double click on it and it'll open up a smart object. Uh, when you do that, you can import your image in this smart object and you can do that by open in place on Photopea or just uh, I think import on Photoshop and then you basically need to drag it to stretch to the dimensions of the image. Uh, you can hit shift to make the ratio stay the same and after you do that you just hit save a smart object or command save after it's been updated now you have your image where the template shows and then uh, make sure to toggle off the guide before you export it after you've got your design totally made we're going to have to use this print file to set it up for printing uh, we'll be using smart objects again so you can just double click the thumbnail open in place again click your new your actual uh, image then you can turn it and you can hold shift to lock it in place and transform it and hold shift again when you're stretching it so that the ratio seems the same the whole time and then when you save it under file and save a smart object again control save or control s or command s depending on mac or windows um then you'll see that everything has changed now and that makes it very simple uh if you're using photoshop or photo photopea makes it very simple now everything is completely changed and it's ready for printing and you can just save it you can rename the file if you need to but after you save it it is ready for printing now 
Now, if you don't have Photoshop or access to Photopea, or you just would like to use your iPad, you can use Procreate. Um, go to Insert Photo. These are all past designs I have. And uh, make sure your snapping tool is on. And then you turn it. Uh, the best way I find it is to line it up with the right hand side of the template and then shrink it down. This is the exact same template, I just didn't have my custom image in it, but it's all the same. Um, after that, you're going to want to copy it and then bring it all the way down to the left hand side now. Make sure it's all lined up with that template. You'll copy that one. And then we want to line it up with the middle one, but we can't see it because it's being blocked. So hide the images you just added. We'll turn off cutting the cut template just because we don't need to see it. And then hide the other ones. And now you can see where we need to line up the middle one. Because basically these are the bleed images that we need behind the cut lines. So that way everything is seamless, nothing gets cut off, no, there's no gaps when you're cutting. Uh, and to keep this simple for your own sanity, I would go ahead and name the layers that you just made. Uh, I'm just naming them based on the positions that they need to be in. Middle, bottom, and top. These we'll use as the bleed ones, but uh, I'm not gonna name them that. Uh, we'll go ahead and copy each of those and then just to make sure we know what the difference is I'll ca call this one the top cut layer. We'll copy each layer. This one is now the bottom cut layer. So see you can use Procreate but it definitely takes a lot more steps. Uh, I personally do use Procreate every time I do it though, just because it's easier. I don't know. <laughs> it's easier for me just because I have it with me more. Um, so now we've copied the last layer as middle cut. We'll turn all layers on so we can see everything. Uh, we'll expand the groups that we have. Uh, drag the top above top bleed and turn on clipping mask. You just tap the layer, hit clipping mask, and you'll just drag them to the respective positions. So now that you know which one's the top, bottom, and middle, you just put them on top uh, of every layer that is the respective position, and then hit clipping mask, and you just repeat it for each layer. And then middle cut is the last one. Oh, and don't do that. Uh, just put it right on top. Tap, hit clipping mask. And now through Procreate, your file is now set up ready for printing. Um, and this would be best as a PDF. So once you have all layers, Oh, I was adjusting it a little bit. Um, there's just a tiny bit of black on the left, so you can move it. Uh, sh hit share, and then go to PDF, and then best quality. And then that would be what most printers use to be able to print it if you are going to a third party to print it or if you're printing at home. Alright, now we are finally to the cutting stage using your Silhouette Studio program and uh, I use a Silhouette Cameo 4. Uh, on the right hand side are all of my settings that I always use. Uh, I save it because I do this quite often and I save it as cup sleeve setting. But the Studio 3 file is exactly how you need it to be to cut your cup sleeve. So now that you have done my tutorial and you have gotten to the point where you have it printed, uh, here it's not the same design but it's one of my designs. Uh, so this is it printed, see there are registration marks. I use a very old mat so I actually just tape it down to the mat. 
just like so. I have it in every corner. Uh, I actually find this easier. <laughs> it's kind of a lot of waste, but um, it doesn't damage the paper as much. Um, so after we have it lined up there, uh, we're gonna hit the up button, which feeds it into the machine. And then we can go ahead and hit send on the Silhouette Studio, and then it should read the registration marks and then you should be good to go. Okay, and now that your machine is done, um, again, since I don't use a sticky mat, I can just peel it right off. Um, your cup sleeves are now finally finished. If there's some dust on them, you can wipe them off. That's just from cutting. But, yep, now you have a custom cup sleeve.